polluted water. It's ugly. It can carry disease. It can kill fish and other aquatic life. It's expensive to clean and no one likes polluted water. Yet all of us contribute to water pollution. Yeah, all of us. That's because most water pollution comes from everyday people living our everyday lives, driving our cars, maintaining our lawns, working out our jobs, and most of the time we don't realize that we are polluting the water. When rain goes down a storm drain, where does it go? Most people think it goes to a treatment plant. Think again. Rain that goes down a storm drain flows through a pipe, then straight into the nearest stream, pond, or lake. No treatment. Wastewater from toilets and sink drains is considered sewage and it is treated, but the pipes that handle rainwater are completely separate and water that flows into the storm drain system is not treated. As storm water flows over the ground, it picks up pollutants, loose soil, extra fertilizer sitting on the lawn, oil drippings and brake dust from cars, soap from car washing, bacteria in pet droppings, trash, grass clippings and leaves, and all sorts of things that people have just dumped or left on the ground. Storm water, carrying that stew of pollutants, flows into the storm drains and into the creek. Next, creeks flow into our rivers and lakes, and those lakes supply our drinking water. Or to think of it another way, the storm water that today is on parking lots and streets, tomorrow it'll be in the creek, and next week that storm water will become somebody's drinking water. Now before lake water can become drinking water, it is thoroughly cleaned and made safe. But the more pollution in the water, the more expensive that cleaning process becomes. Water pollution can also come from accidental spills, or sewage overflows, or intentional dumping, or improper storage of chemicals, trash, or just about anything that gets into the path of the raindrop. It's illegal to pollute the water. Even an accidental spill can be a violation if it's not cleaned up and reported properly. In Charlotte-Mecklenburg, water quality ordinances allow for fines of up to $5,000 a day. Stormwater services staff can and do issue notices of violation and fines. Many times, however, stormwater services prefers to educate rather than to punish, because the goal is to get people to change their behaviors and stop future pollution. That's where you come in. We need you to be a water watcher. We need your help to spot possible water pollution. Start by using your eyes and your nose. Look for creek water that's the wrong color. Muddy creeks are polluted creeks. The dirt particles eventually settle to the bottom, clogging fish gills and burying their eggs. The sandbars can even obstruct the flow of the stream. Sometimes muddy creeks are caused by construction sites without proper erosion control fences. Stormwater flows across the bare soil and the dirty water washes down the nearest storm drain and into the creek. A sewage overflow will turn the creek gray, and it smells like sewage. Grayish looking water could also contain concrete. That might be from washing out a concrete mixer and letting the dirty water flow into the storm drain system. The water will be gray, but it won't smell like a sewage spill. An oil sheen on the water or a petroleum odor can be a sign of a fuel spill or that someone intentionally dumped oil or gasoline. Strangely colored creek water is almost always a sign of contamination. If it doesn't look right, it probably isn't. Another type of pollution is soap suds in the water. The bubbles can come from car washing, mop buckets dumped into a storm drain, or from companies using a soap-based product, maybe to clean parking lots or to pressure wash sides of buildings. Sometimes the water looks fine, but the fish don't. Some toxic chemicals don't have a color or an odor, but if those toxins are in the creek, the fish may be gasping for air or dead. Anytime you see dead fish in the water, assume there's a problem. Sometimes you won't see the pollution in the creek, but you'll see the polluters. Weekend mechanics who dump used oil along the curb of the street or directly into the storm drain. Landscapers who blow or rake leaves or grass clippings into the street. Painters who rinse off their brushes onto the ground or into storm drains. Pressure washers, carpet cleaners, ductwork cleaners, or people hosing off their pavement. If they are using the street and storm drains to get rid of dirty water, they are probably polluters. You may see homes or businesses with poor housekeeping. That can include stains around chemical drums, tanks, or dumpsters, uncovered buckets of oil or other chemicals, grease on the ground at restaurants, piles of trash. 
Look for pipes or hoses that empty onto the ground or right into a storm drain. Or those pipes might empty into the creek. Pipes or hoses not connected to the sanitary sewer line are suspicious, and broken pipes should always be reported. If the liquid flowing from those pipes looks wrong or smells wrong, it may be illegal. And if any liquid is coming from a pipe or hose during dry weather, chances are it's not rainwater, it might be pollution. Emptying a car's ashtray into a parking lot may not seem so horrible. A little oil or dirt that washes into a storm drain may seem harmless, but what matters is the cumulative effect. Of course, trash can make our creeks look bad. Worse, chemicals in that trash can pollute the water and harm aquatic life. Excess fertilizer from thousands of lawns can create algae blooms. Too much algae reduces oxygen levels, which can kill fish. Too little oxygen can also be the result of too many leaves or grass clippings in the water. Sewer overflows also reduce oxygen levels in the water, kill fish, and pollute drinking water sources. The most common cause of sewer overflows is cooking grease poured into sink drains. That liquid grease hardens in the pipes. When a sewer pipe is clogged, untreated sewage backs up, spilling onto the ground and into the water. Sewage spills can prevent us from enjoying our creeks and lakes. Many of our everyday activities cause water pollution in our kitchens, our garages and driveways, on our streets and sidewalks, and outside our businesses. So what do you do if you see or smell signs of water pollution? Or if you see someone dumping into a storm drain? Just call 311 or dial 704 336 7600. If you prefer, you don't have to give your name. Tell them what you see or smell. 311 operators will notify Charlotte Mecklenburg Stormwater Services. Once your concern is received, the water quality staff of Stormwater Services begins an investigation. Employees are on call every hour of the day to respond immediately to a water quality emergency. If the situation isn't urgent, the pollution complaint will be addressed within 48 hours. The Stormwater Services investigator will visit the site and may contact you to gather more information. Stormwater Services does not clean up the spills or contamination. Employees gather relevant information to figure out who or what caused the pollution. If the responsible person can't be found, Stormwater Services may hire a contractor to clean up the water pollution. Staff also tries to determine what impact the contamination has on our waterways. If the person responsible for the pollution can be found, investigators work to make sure the problem is corrected and the polluter cleans up any contamination. Then Stormwater Services decides whether to issue a notice of violation or a fine or whether it's best resolved with education. If you'd like, Stormwater staff will let you know what the investigation shows and how the problem is finally taken care of. There are 3,000 miles of streams in Charlotte-Mecklenburg, 200 miles of lake shoreline. Our creeks and lakes provide our drinking water, recreational opportunities, and a great way to connect with nature. Also connected with nature are thousands of storm drains in our streets and parking lots. Those storm drains are piped directly to our creeks and lakes. Ultimately, we all live downstream. Everyday people living everyday lives or doing everyday jobs can cause water pollution. Everyday people can also be water watchers, helping to protect our storm drainage system and the water quality in our creeks, our ponds, and our lakes. If you see water pollution or a water polluter, call 311. Stormwater Services will check it out. As a water watcher, you have played a crucial part in protecting the environment and protecting the people in our community. Thank you.